final two mile ascent where it's the steepest. And that is the notorious part of the trail where you have to keep moving forward. It's climb to 4,000, drop to 3, <laughs> climb to 4, drop to 3,500. That's pretty much the agenda. Go up it and keep moving forward. And you just kind of ride this roller coaster. Music's been a part of here since I was a kid. There's a, there's a very cool vibe um, with the runners and the culture kind of mixed. So we have a great stance of Greenway. We have a river that is vibrant. We got people floating on every, every day of the hot year. You can go down there and almost walk across the river with many people there. The Orange Peel was actually a music club back in the 50s and 60s, and it was part of the Motown tour. So Elvis Presley was a sense of play down here. I spent my entire pro career trying to convince other fast people to come here because it was so awesome. It was such a fun place to train. We're here at Wicked Weed. Actually, it's Wicked Weed Funkatorium. Right, this is their but second there's, location. There's a ton of stuff. Oh, there's one, there's one. Breweries yeah. everywhere. Yeah. We're, we're known kind of as Beer City, USA. Uh, we've been voted that several times. Usually it's us and Portland and, and a number of other great towns. And really, it's just fun. I mean, these, these guys, uh, it's a great town. It's a great place for it. The water's really good. So have you noticed the running culture kind of snowball in popularity here? Because it sounds like it really has. It, oh, totally. I, I yeah. mean, I used to know everybody with bike rack on their car by name. I would see them driving around town and go, I know that. Yeah. We used to only have one 5K a year. And, then, and you know, you'd have maybe 500 people show up. Shut in Ridge was there, and you'd know everybody that was there. Now it's yeah. it's sought after, and when you look at the calendar now, there's 10 or 15 trail races, maybe 20 trail races within 30 minutes of here that are quality, that are fun races to yeah. do. Some of them have been around for a long time, some of them brand new this year. What do you usually run when you go yeah, out for trail runs? Well, I, I, the trails here vary. Obviously, we're East Coast, so you're you're talking rocky and rudy and wet and muddy and nasty. You really better pay attention to your foot strike. You really better pay attention to where you go, or, or else you're going down pretty fast. Uh, the Shut In Ridge Trail Run is kind of the father of hard trail runs. Well, I think yeah, we're yeah. actually yeah. Uh, going down there and, and running that. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've race directed that over the years. I've won it, I think, five times. I think uh, oh, wow. my dad race directed it for a little yeah. while as well. It's actually part of a small 18-mile piece of the Mountain Sea Trail. The Mount Sissi Trail is a trail that goes from the western part of the state all the way to the coast, but it follows the Blue Ridge Parkway for many miles. Wow. So any place it crosses a road, there'll be a trailhead. Any place it crosses a river, there'll be a trailhead. So if you want to go for a quick run, the easiest thing to do here is to go to an outback on the Mount Sissi Trail. could go to the right downhill but we're gonna go up on the shut-in trail which that's the way I prefer to go is up <laughs> not down <laughs> most people I think are the opposite would you say that's a strength of yours uh yeah most people think I'm crazy because I really enjoy running uphill as much as I do but it's always been something that I've enjoyed and it's definitely been a strength of mine throughout the years We're on the shut-in trail at the Sleepy Gap entrance, and um, this is a storied race in western North Carolina, um, 18 miles in length, mostly uphill, and um, I won this race the two times I've raced it um, in 2009 and 2013. Shut-in is known for its steep climbs. It's definitely a trail that's not for the faint-hearted. The rhododendron coverage that is here is really nice to get away from the summer Appalachian heat and humidity. It's definitely cooler whenever you're out running in the shade. 
Asheville is a really eclectic area. Uh, there's a lot of options to go out to eat and everything. And there's a big microbrewery scene in town too. So trail runners definitely seem to like drinking their beers. North Carolina is pretty famous for its barbecue. I see a lot of pulled pork. They also got incredible side items. So we've got some uh, mashed sweet potatoes, um, some corn pudding, a couple different kinds of barbecue sauce. Yeah, we're gonna see how it all blends together. Uh, I was excited to come here eat some real southern food. Hmm. Tell us a little bit about Asheville. So Asheville to me is about as eclectic of a city as you could find definitely on the East Coast. You know, I've lived in Colorado before. To me, it has a little bit of the Boulder vibe, a little bit of the Portland vibe, a little bit of the San Francisco vibe. Um, but it's smaller, it's more accessible. I think that draws a lot of people in because the South is kind of known as this warm, inviting, friendly place, and you still get that. But at the same time, there's like hippie communes and uh, drum circles where 200 people are all just eating on drums on a Friday and Saturday night in the middle of downtown. It's got a lot of cool history too, like the Vanderbilt with the Biltmore Estate. The whole skyline of the city is this like 1920s, like Art Deco. Um, you've got the French Broad River, and actually where we're sitting now is called the River Arts District. When I went to school here 15 years ago, this was like sketchy beyond sketchy. I mean, you're talking about just old warehouses, just big trucks. I think 12 Bones, the place we're eating, was about the only thing down here, and it was mostly for like the construction workers and stuff like that who were working down here. They have poured a ton of money into it now, and it's like this crazy art district, as the name implies. So you've got places where you could go blow your own glass. Tons of just local artisans doing pottery. Um, there's actually a running store just up the road. So yeah, I mean, this whole area is just so outdoorsy. It's kind of crazy if you look at the demographics. Like the city of Asheville itself is 80,000. The whole metro area is about a quarter million. There's five running stores. You know, I mean, that ratio is pretty ridiculous. And it's because there are that many runners. So I hear you have a secret laboratory of sorts? Yes, we call it the Couch of Woe. So we'll go back to the Couch of Woe and I'll show you our, uh, our other part of the business. Uh, behind the scenes. Very yes. good. Welcome to the stock room. This is what my closet looks like. So, um, this is uh, what we call the labs of my business associate, Scott. He's a certified pedorthist. Um, Scott creates custom orthotics um, on site here. Uh, most are done during the visit. We don't have to send away. Everything's fabricated here on site, which is pretty cool. I, I ran uh, for NC State, was all ACC there, uh, post-collegiately, uh, ran on the roads, and then from there I went on to the trails. I won the trail marathon national championship and uh, still continue to compete. You're here in the heart of the running scene in North Carolina. Right. Talk a little bit about the city. The city is great. It's so diverse. Um, we've kind of grown into another beer city. Wow. That seems to be a reoccurring trend <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. in the places we've been visiting. <laughs> lots of uh, lots of microbrews, uh, some cideries. We got some really big artists that come into Little Asheville. So we have you know small venues for for you know considering who comes through, like from Avid Brothers to uh, Montford and Sons. Uh, we had the Beastie Boys stop in. But they play at a really small venue. It was real intimate, really cool. Um, just some really cool places to visit. Some cool swimming holes, rivers to kayak, you know, and plenty of places to run, obviously. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Can you give us a little tour of the store? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Come on this way. We split our our, our walls up. We do uh, our our road shoes. Uh, and over here we do all of our trail. Most of our, our reps from the companies walk in and say, my god, you have the most trail shoes I've ever seen in the store. So uh, we try to really represent on the trail side. The Bed Creek area is probably the most popular in Asheville just because of its accessibility. Uh, people can get there really easy and it's got some great trails. Uh, you can you know, do uh, a flat run or you can do a hilly run. The park itself has a wealth of trails that you can do any distance you want to cover. Hard Times is probably the most popular. It's where most people park and go to because it's kind of the heart of the park, so you can get to a lot of the other trails pretty easily. Bent Creek is just one of those places that everybody knows and goes to. Bikers, runners, walkers, hikers. Um, I've seen unicyclists out there, so <laughs> we've, yeah. got, we've got to bit everything out that way. I have yet to see a unicyclist on a trail, so. It was interesting. I mean, yeah, he's, they were doing some tricks. It was pretty funny. Oh my. And now it's just pouring down rain. Does this yes. happen? Welcome to Asheville in the summer. Yeah? yeah? Usually every afternoon we have a thunderstorm. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. That would explain the lightning we caught yeah. yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. it seems like every afternoon this is what you have to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Usually in the afternoons, 
there's thunderstorms about every day in the summertime in the south. It's nice because it cools you off whenever you're out running. One thing that's really nice about being in this area is the easy access to trails. Um, the Blue Ridge Parkway gives you really quick access to a lot of trailheads in Asheville, but all the way up through the state and through Virginia. Running on the trails here, you really feel it's very intimate because you're completely enclosed. I enjoy being out in nature and being out in the woods and the solace that you get being alone whenever you hear nothing but the wind or the birds or the leaves crunching under your feet. And so um, it's nice to be able to get to a place like that so quickly.